Is he gone? Well, yes. You're not avoiding him, are you? Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing about getting caught last night in that hot tub. I mean, the whole building's talking about it. What happened? You haven't heard? No. Oh. Well, never mind. No, 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 no. What? Well, after dinner last night, my hip was getting kind of stiff, so I went down to the hot tub. Well, you know how it is when you kick on the jets and your trunks fill up like a hot air balloon. No, but go on. Well, so there was nobody around, so I just slipped out of them and tossed them on the deck. You mean you were... Yeah, just floating free. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there, minding my own business, you know, and letting the bubbles do their work, and suddenly old lady Langer shows up. She sees my trunks and she writes me out a no-no slip right there and then. You mean the no-no slip was for being naked in the hot tub? Yeah. Oh. I told Dr. Crane it was because you took Eddie in the elevator. Oh, dear. I've got to get down to that condo meeting. Why? Oh, I don't know what's going on down there, but suddenly I have a very queasy feeling. And so you can vote for me, a person who has worked this past year to keep this building running smoothly. Or you can turn the building over to a man who can scarcely keep his own family under control. <laughs> Thank you. Fellow condo owners, I'm sorry my opponent has chosen to be vindictive about my family. But that is merely characteristic of her behavior during her entire term in office. How else would one explain this? This citation my father received last night is a perfect example of the pettiness of which this woman is capable. We're all aware of your father's behavior last night. I'm surprised you're not too ashamed to bring it up. Ashamed? Not at all. I defend his behavior. So he had his little friend out where he shouldn't be. So what? Been doing it for years. You approve of his behavior? Approve? I applaud it. Have you no compassion? My father is getting older. Hasn't many pleasures left in life. I can't tell you the, the hours of joy that that little guy has brought him. Oh, I know, you know, sometimes it is irksome when his little Eddie appears at inopportune moments, but... He's named it Eddie? Well, not exactly, of course, a name that I might have chosen. I might have gone with something a bit more, oh, I don't know, whimsical, like, uh, oh, Puck! <laughs> you know, the frolic some sprite from Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, don't look so shocked. Whom does it really harm if he unleashes Eddie once in a while? <laughs> Come on, he's not as always alone in such behavior. Mrs. Tornquist, I've seen you do the same thing many times with your fluffy. <laughs> Frazier has left the building.